It seems like most people when they travel, they want to have this kind of experience where they plan some stuff, but then they meet someone random and then they end up going to this thing that they invited them to. And then it's this, ah, it so fun. Uh, I didn't think that was going to happen on this trip to Mexico, obviously, but it did happen. And I happened to be filming the whole day. So I now get to tell you that story, which starts on a plane next to this guy. We get to the airport and are greeted by all these people who are not waiting for us. They're waiting for some sort of K-pop star. This guy is waiting for us, though, with the big baller sign. Go to a taco place down the street and they're playing pop punk, which was confusing, of course. I'm going to guess that they did that because we walked in. Went to a couple bars where there was this crazy egg thing. Side note, I do think it'd be cool if you could take a Zoom call in a bar and this guy could just run sound for you. You're in the egg, it's soundproof. Think about it. Next morning, walked to get coffee, then went to the Anthropology Museum. There's a few notable things here. One, I kept noticing people's arms were just around each other all the time. Two, saw this painting of the pole and the people hanging down from it. I was not sure what that was. Thirdly, learned crazy fact that all of Mexico City was built on a lake. Are you kidding me? Maybe the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'm sure some people knew that, but I didn't. That's on an island? Like, That's what? That's crazy. We walk out of the museum and immediately see this giant pole. And at the top of the pole are people sitting. But guess what they're about to do? What? Oh, I saw this in the museum. I was wondering what this was. After that, we walked to what could be the best restaurant in Mexico City. Go, you should just go check it out if you're there. <laughs> yes. Walked to a vintage store called Revolver, where I tried on a cool hoodie. Also met a cool friend named Val that we invited to the show that night. We walked over to the venue. People were waiting for us all day. They're so excited. Okay. Then all of soundcheck was spent trying to figure out how we can squeeze our really big show into a very small space. And then obviously confused why someone would do that. But then the show happened. The show was insane, of course. Mexican audiences go off. Went a little too hard, I think. Hurt my back. Left, and there was a line all the way out that had we had to exit into the van. This guy followed us, but like ran next to the van uh, all the way to the hotel where Riley had to make him promise that he wouldn't tell anyone else where we were. There he is. And he got a photo with us in exchange for that. Oh, and then guess who goes to the show is the girl from the vintage store we met earlier that day. And her boyfriend, Abel, who you've been listening to most of this time, he has a cool music project. And they invited us to their friend's music studio that he records at where our crew could like play music and jam and it was so much fun. Come on. Let me see you arrive. Hunter, James, Maddie, Abel, that's me. Then we asked Abel to show us a video of his band and he did and it was so cool. They're called El Muchacho de los Ojos Tristes. Alexis is in the band as well. We gave her a ride home. I ended up being the longest day ever. Got back to the hotel around like 4.30 or something. And of course the eyes show it all, but was very fun. Of course, we'd do it again. 